If you feel like leaving and you've got a real sweet tooth, Halloween can be a dream and then a nightmare. I'm Vidya Kuznani and I've got loads of Halloween candy laying around my house. I'm just trying to keep the Halloween spirits from haunting me. So let's go behind the burner and meet the nutritionist. So I'm here with nutritionist Martha McVitrick. Martha, Halloween has come and gone, but look what I'm left with. Sylvia, that's lot, that's trouble. That is trouble. This is trouble right in front of me. What happens is that all this candy gets left in my house, and I take a whole handful of it and I bring it to work, and then I start snacking on it, which is not good. So if I am going to snack on it, what's the right portion? I usually tell people about 100 calories a day, maybe 150 tops. And that would be, actually one of these is 100 calories. Okay. A typical little chocolate is 80 calories. This is for a mini chocolate. Mm -hmm. And a mini sugary treat, like a gummy gummy bear or a sugar patch kids, is about 70 calories for a small one. So really, I'm recommending about two a day. Okay, so only two, that's my limit. Most of it I gotta give away or I gotta get rid of it. I usually tell people to get rid of it. Give it to your spouse to take to work. <laughs> Don't have it in your office. Give it to your doorman. Give it away. Don't have it around. Because a lot of people, myself included, once you start with something sugary, you keep going. It's really hard to stop. So I tell people, just get rid of it. And so what's the effect sugar has on your body? I, people often say that once you eat something sweet, you just start craving more things to eat because you get hungry. Your blood sugar goes up and your blood sugar goes down. Is that true? That actually happens to a lot of people. What happens is when you eat a lot of sugar at one time, what you said was correct. Your blood sugar shoots up and then it comes down and you want more. So it's like an addictive type of a thing. So I usually tell people, don't start, and if you do, let it go the next day and move on and just eat a healthy diet. And so if I have some of this candy, which I know I shouldn't have, what does that mean for me in terms of exercise? That's a good question. Okay, think about it. If you have two little candies, and let's say that comes to 160 calories, you're going to have to walk for 40 minutes of speed walking to burn that off. Oh my God, for like two minutes of joy, it's 40 minutes of exercise. Okay, guess what? <laughs> if you have four little candies, which is over 300 calories, you have to take an extra spinning class for 45 minutes, a hardcore spinning class to burn those calories off. That's too much work for four pieces of candy. Is it worth it? <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> so what are some great ideas? The first suggestion I would have for you, the first tip would be don't buy the candy that you really love. For example, I'm a chocoholic. So mm -hmm. for me to buy little pieces of chocolate to keep to give out to kids, it's not a good idea because I'm going to get into it. So if you're a chocoholic, maybe buy something that's sugary, like the gummy bears or something more like this, which is sugar. So you're not as tempted to eat it. I'm not as tempted to eat that. I like the good stuff. I like me a piece of good dark chocolate. I enjoy that on my desk. Right. So that's something you could do. If you wanted to buy something healthy, you could buy little boxes of raisins. Or you could give out apples. I don't know what the kids are going to feel about getting raisins from me. They'd be like, that's the woman's whose house we're not going back to next year. You would be a second rate <laughs> candy giver. But the main thing I would say is to buy candy that you don't love and to get it out of your house as soon as trick-or-treating time is over. Just get rid of it. Give it away. That's what I'm going to do. So Martha, on that note, I'm going to leave all this candy here for you. I don't want it, Divya. <laughs> Stay tuned to Behind the Burner, where we give you the tips, tricks, and techniques that are lighting the culinary world on fire.